Hello. Here is a short film of how to make a miniature cottage out of clay. Beautiful cottages can be made for presents for your mum, your grandmother or your auntie. And to do this you will need some templates, a rolling pin, a knife, some Daz clay, a cocktail stick, a block of wood, some PVA glue in a little dish, you don't need too much, a spatula and a pencil, a small pot of water and some scissors. First of all you take the clay and then you knead the clay in order to warm it up. Give it a roll. Warm it up in your hands just for a few minutes. And then you can start to roll. You're going to roll a strip of clay, a rectangular shape. Not, you're going to make it not too thick. Like this. And it's going to have the template on the top. So we need to fit the template on. As you can see, that's a little bit too short. So we're going to make it a little bit longer. And when we've got it the right length, we're then going to cut it with the knife. So you cut it all the way around the edge. Like this. Just hold the template in place. Cut it carefully. Make sure you're cutting it all the way around the edge of the card. And then take the, the clay away that we're not going to use. Because we will use that next, next time. Okay, so. So you're left with the template shape. Like that. And then you fold the clay around the block like that and where you've got the two ends you're going to seal them with a little bit of water so on your finger a little tiny bit of water on those two ends there and then you seal it don't press the clay too too much on the block because soon we've got to get that out. Okay, and we leave that to dry and then we take the clay again, might need another little bit, and this time, just kneading the new bit, we're going to make the roof. So we roll it out again. Like that. We take the rectangular piece of paper and cut it out like that as you can see it's not too thick it's just about in depth right okay so there's your roof and the roof is going to be stuck around this part of the clay where you put the water it'll stick so you put the roof on the house just seal the edges a little bit like that while it's drying we can make the garden so you take the rest of the clay and this time it's going to be circular so you're going to roll out the clay like this When you think you've got a garden about the right size for your house, put your house on and cut round the garden. Don't make it too big because if it's too big it will probably crack and then you'll end up having a funny shaped garden. Okay, so there you are, there's the first bit done. 
While we're waiting for that to dry, we can make the chimney. So you take a little bit of clay and between finger and thumb, just push it down that way and push it down that way. That makes it into a cuboid shape. And then we're going to cut off the top so that it's straight. We don't want to make it too big for the house, so we cut it in half probably. And then in order for it to fit the roof, we're going to have to have it slanting. So you cut a slant at an angle like that. And then that's ready to fit onto the house. I'm not going to fit it on yet because I've got to take the block out. But that's the chimney. After about 10 to 15 minutes, turn the house over very, very carefully. You may have to get your an adult to help you and gently lift the block out. And then very, very carefully stand the house down. And try not to touch it too much now because it's still drying. When it's completely dry, it will be hard. You can also put on a top part which is the thatch which is along the top of your cottage. So roll out a tie shape, not too long like that, okay and that can be decorated with a cocktail stick so you can do some little holes along there little crisscrosses down the centre to represent the thatch. And you can also take off a little bit on the, the corners just to give it a little bit of shape. Like that. And that can be stuck with some water again across the top of the roof, like that. Okay, now when you've taken the block out, you then take the house and put it on the garden. If the house is dried too much, it won't stick to the clay, so that's when you will need to take the, the PVA glue. You can use PVA glue or copy decks, and you just put a little bit of glue all the way around. Or if the clay is still wet, then just use your finger and put a little bit of water around it and that will stick it. Stick the house onto the garden and then you can have fun decorating your garden. You can make little fences or little hedges, a little path, a doorway. Little rockery, pond, little well and a porch possibly as well. On the house when it's dry, you can take, show you on this one, you can put in the beams by using a pencil. Just draw them in, draw where you want the windows, draw everything in. And then when it's completely dry and white like this one, you can then paint it. And I suggest that you use poster paint or acrylic paint. You need to put on some beams and if you want to use black paint you can or you can use felt pen and then paint the garden green and little steps going up to the door you can make all sorts of things in your garden and it will look beautiful and it would be a beautiful present have fun with it 